Welcome everyone to this video by Learn Civil Engineering where we will be introducing free body diagrams. Structures are composed of various bodies that are connected by releases. A body is a collection of individual members that transmit forces and moments to one another. For example, this structure contains two bodies connected by this hinge release. The body to the left of the hinge contains a beam that is connected to a column and as this connection is fixed, the beam can transmit axial forces, shear forces and moments to the column. The body to the right of the hinge is much simpler, being only a beam. Throughout this video, we will focus on a simpler structure, as shown here. This structure is again made of two bodies, with each body being composed of a single member. The structure is being supported by hinge supports at point A and B. The two bodies are being connected by a hinge release at point C, and we have a vertical concentrated load of 5 kN being applied downwards to the centre of member AC. For this structure to be in equilibrium, and in fact all structures, each body within the structure must be in equilibrium. To guarantee that the structure is in equilibrium, we can analyse each body independently, considering all forces and moments applied, including the external loads, the support reactions, and the effect of the rest of the structure. So, for our structure, before we can analyse each body individually, we must calculate the reaction forces in the two supports. We worked through the method for computing these in the last video, where we learnt about the stability of structures, so I'll leave the link to that video in the description for you if you'd like to see the method. But, having already calculated the support reactions, we know that for this structure, at point A, there is a horizontal reaction force of 5 kN acting towards the right, and a vertical reaction force of 2.5 kN acting upwards. And, at point B, there is a horizontal reaction force of 5 kN acting towards the left, and a vertical reaction force of 2.5 kN acting upwards. Now, having done that, we can compute the free body diagram of each body. We will start with the body on the left, comprised of member AC. Let's illustrate this part of the structure on its own. We have the two support reactions at point A that we already knew, the concentrated load of 5 kN that is being applied at the centre of the member, and we have included up to the hinge at point C. In addition to this, we must also include the forces applied by the remainder of the structure at point C, and for now, we can just assume a sense for the vertical and horizontal forces and the moment, as denoted in the diagram. Note that I'm using the superscript L to denote the fact that these forces and moments are for the left body of the structure. As we stated at the beginning, to guarantee that the structure is in equilibrium, member AC must be in equilibrium, and therefore the sum of all horizontal forces must be equal to zero, the sum of all vertical forces must be equal to zero, and the sum of all moments relative to a point, which we will make point A, must also be equal to zero. Applying our forces to these equations, and taking the x-coordinate direction to be positive, we get 5 minus Rxc equals 0, so we can instantly see that Rxc is equal to 5 kN. Taking the y-coordinate direction to be positive, we get 2.5 minus 5 plus Ryc equals 0, so again, as we just have the one unknown, we can see that Ryc is equal to 2.5 kN. And finally, taking the anticlockwise rotation direction to be positive, we get negative 2.5 times 6 plus 5 times 3 plus mc equals 0. So we can work out that mc is equal to 15 minus 15, which equals 0. So, for the left-hand body of the structure, we can apply these forces to the diagram, giving us the following free body diagram. Now, let's do the same for the body to the right of the hinge. If you are happy in your understanding of what we just did, you are welcome to pause the video here to attempt this for yourself before we work through it. So, welcome back if you did attempt the free body diagram for the right hand body. Again, we will start by illustrating this part of the structure on its own. We have the two support reactions at point B that we already knew, but this time we don't have an external load being applied to the body. And then, once again, we have included up to the hinge at point C. In addition to this, we must also include the forces applied by the remainder of the structure at point C, and we will again assume a sense for the vertical and horizontal forces and the moment, as denoted in the diagram. 
Note that I am using the superscript R this time to denote the fact that these forces and moments are for the right body of the structure. As we stated at the beginning, to guarantee the structure is in equilibrium, member BC must be in equilibrium, and therefore the sum of all horizontal forces must be equal to zero, the sum of all vertical forces must be equal to zero, and the sum of all moments relative to a point, which we will make point B this time, must be equal to zero. Applying our forces to these equations and taking the x-coordinate direction to be positive, we get rxc minus 5 equals 0, so we can instantly see that rxc is equal to 5 kN. Taking the y-coordinate direction to be positive, we get 2.5 plus ryc equals 0. So again, as we just have the one unknown, we can see that ryc is equal to negative 2.5 kN. And finally, taking the anticlockwise rotation direction to be positive, we get negative Rxc times 2 minus Ryc times 4 minus Mc equals 0. Substituting in our values for Rxc and Ryc, we get negative 5 times 2 minus negative 2.5 times 4 minus Mc equals 0. So, rearranging for Mc, we get mc is equal to 10 minus 10, which equals 0. So for the right-hand body of the structure, we can apply these forces to the diagram, giving us the following free-body diagram. You will have noticed that one of the common results from both free-body diagrams is that the moments applied at point c are equal to 0, and this is just a consequence of the hinge, as hinges cannot transmit moments between members. To quickly recap then, we have learnt how to compute the free body diagram for bodies within a structure. Although the example in this video seemed quite simple, the concept will be very useful in the future. This has been a video by Learn Civil Engineering. If you have found this video useful at all, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel to show your support. If you do have any remaining questions, or would like me to cover a specific topic, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll try to respond as soon as possible. Thank you for watching.